Hi, my name is Patrick Gookin. I'm a product manager with MicroFocus, and I'd like to talk a little bit about our identity governance and administration solution, and specifically about our approach to continuous compliance. So continuous compliance is an approach to compliance or to doing access certification and review to do it continuously instead of doing it on a periodic, periodic basis. So previously people would do periodic access reviews on a quarterly or an annual basis, and that's still a really important thing that people do, and we fully support that as a regular way of doing compliance. You can schedule your quarterly reviews, do your quarterly certification reviews to meet your audit demands, but in between audit reviews or to even replace those audit reviews, if you can react to changes in your environment in real time and do incremental certifications or do incremental management of the remediation of things in your environment, it allows you to have this continuous compliance model, which reduces the overall burden on the compliance team from the, the really large scale, impactful, um, very heavy weight compliance certifications. And it also really increases your security. So not only are you more compliant, you're also more secure. So the way that we allow you to do this is we, in this case, I'm showing a screen here, and I'm going to jump into demo in a couple of minutes. In fact, I think I'll jump into demo now. Rather than showing a screenshot, we'll look at the product itself. So here's our identity governance and administration um, application or solution. And here we're looking right now at the catalog or a portion of the catalog. It shows all the applications that we're, we've collected into our governance system. And that's kind of the central um, component of our governance system is the catalog. In the catalog, we have all of the applications, the accounts, the permissions, the identities, what people have access to, all stored centrally. So those are all gathered in from, from the actual applications and identity sources into the governance system. And once you're in the governance system, that forms the basis for doing certification and doing um, governance of, of that data. So once, um, but when in the process of gathering that data in, we can create controls to evaluate that data and react to any kind of changes or anomalies or exceptions that occur in that data. And we call those data policies. So if we look at a data policy, here we can see a list of these data policies and, and users can create any criteria they choose to, to look at that data, evaluate it, and then react to it and remediate it. So for example, we'll look at one called expired contractors. And if you look at this, let me open this up. So this is a data control. Um, you can name it anything you want to find, you put a nice description on that and so forth. You can decide whether or not you're um, evaluating identity data or application data or both. Um, and then you can create a set of criteria. And it's a very robust expression builder. And this one really, all of this is really just saying, we wanna look for the employees that are contractors and we want to do an evaluation of their expiration date. And if they've reached their expiration date, then we wanna do some, we wanna trigger something, we want some action to happen. And those actions we call remediations. And if we look back on the policy, we can see the remediations that are specified. So let's open that up. So what we allow you to do is to specify the criteria. When we, when we detect an exception or an anomaly or a violation of the control, then we'll take the remedia remediation action that you specify. So in this case, it's a micro certification. So what we allow you to, the types of remediation that we support are a simple email notification. You could say, well, when this happens, I want the sponsor for this contractor to be notified. And he's gonna have to go do something to take care of re-engaging with the contractor or starting them again or something. You could also submit a change request, which can trigger either a help desk ticket in your service now or you know, your help desk system, um, or could start a workflow in the identity management system and, and basically say, we wanna do something to, to change things. And that can be automated as well using IDM. And then the other one we have is micro certification. And a micro certification is a small, very uh, a specific certification so in this case, you could say if this contract is expired, start a review of that of that contractor's data for their the person that's responsible for them. And they could see that contractor, what they have access to, what their attributes are, and what their expiration date is, and could potentially um, could could correct that expiration date or remove the contractor. So that's the way we support the this continuous compliance mechanism where you put these controls in place. Those controls evaluate the data that's being collected into the system and react to it and, and, and take any kind of remediation action that's necessary. So that's one of the ways that we do continuous compliance. We allow you to create these data controls and these, you know, specify any kind of criteria that you want to from 
in the case I just demonstrated an expired contractor to a high risk permission was just assigned to somebody, um, a user data problem, a user doesn't have an email or an invalid supervisor or an account that's not owned by anybody, any of those kinds of things, you can define that criteria, specify the remediation, and that allows you to do this continuous evaluation of the data, continuous remediation of problems. So that's kind of continuous compliance. And that's the data policy controls. That's what we have out of the box for being able to configure the controls on top of the data. Those, um, all of those actions are also available via REST APIs. So if you wanted to have any kind of an external system react immediately and trigger these policies, that's possible as well. So that's uh, that's our continuous compliance approach and showing some of the, the ways that we do that and how that helps you to reduce the burden on your compliance team and also achieve more continuous uh, compliance benefits as well as improve your security profile in general.